morning, y'all. This morning, we are starting off the morning well, time tired. building a bonfire. So we're going to make this one a good one, right, Mark? Yes. We're going to make this snow nice and big and warm. And the weather is just perfect for it right now because it's like, you know, it's cool outside. It's not like freezing, freezing, but it's like perfect. So we have some old Amazon boxes here. They'll put at the bottom. He's ripping it all up. And then you want me to find some logs? Uh, twigs. Twigs? Okay. Tinling, what about that? Uh, oh, yeah. Well, you can find more. Okay. Yeah. Let's go find some more. Buddy, Luke, and Mark built this log fort out of all of our logs. And I'd feel bad to take, like, some of the bark off the top. So that's why I'm going to ask him. Hey, Mark. Can I take some, like, bark stuff for the fire? You sure? Yeah. Okay. So let's get what? There's some bark inside the house too. Here, y'all have to see inside. It's pretty cool. All right, so it's kind of not. It got. It kind of got knocked down, but you know this is at the entrance, and they walk in. It goes around <laughs> all into there. But as you see, the roof kind of collapsed. So. You know, there's not much of a roof anymore, but it's still really cool. All right, let's get some bark. We got some bark from like, these logs. They're like super big logs. And these are like all the trees that fell down over by our house. Like there was trees down by our driveway. So this is just all of our trees from our property here. And there's all the bark. At least the bark is a little damp though, but it'll be okay. I'm going to light it. Okay. Okay, so that caught on fire. I feel the heat now. Oh, that's All right, y'all, we are back inside now and we're we'll making some lip balm. And we looked it up and it's like so simple. It's like even more simple than candles. And look, y'all, we have a candle right here. We're burning a candle. It smells good. Okay, and yeah, so this is how simple it is. Usually it'd be two tablespoons of coconut oil, two tablespoons of beeswax, and then cocoa butter. But we want two different uh, flavors or scents because Mark was really wanting this orange creamsicle. I mean, they both smell like amazing. But we were just gonna do all peaches and cream, but then Mark's like, we need to do this one. So, we're gonna just do one tablespoon of each and melt, do one at a time. And then usually make 12, but now there's gonna be like six of each. So it's like super simple. So we have to shred this cocoa butter because as you see, it's like in a bar right now. So we gotta shred, shred this and then start melting a tablespoon of each. Add in our essential oils and then pour it into here. And then it should harden like in like, it should, doesn't take that long to harden at all. It's like 10 minutes, 5, 10 minutes to harden, and then you're good to go. So it's like super simple, super easy, and you get to choose like whatever scent you want, and it's just That's amazing. Awesome. All right, y'all, so let's start shredding the cocoa butter. All right, y'all, it looks like we already have a tablespoon here. It's all sticking to your hand. It's already like melting. It's you could add the rest of it. Okay, so I'm just going to add the rest of it. Same thing, we're going to melt it the exact same way as we melted the candles. And then we're gonna remove, after it melt, we're gonna remove it from the water for melting it. And then we're gonna add our such oils. Just like we, what we do with the candles. It's just lip balm and it's a lot more simple. So you got, that was a tablespoon, right? Mm -hmm. A tablespoon, then you gotta get a tablespoon of organic beeswax. So this is all natural stuff too. It's all organic, all natural stuff. So which flavor do you wanna do first? Or scent, it's not flavor, we're not really eating <clears> it, but. <laughs> What scent do you want to do first? You want to do the peaches or the orange sickle? Cream sickle. Which one? I oh, we could do the cream. No. We could do the peach. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that was the original. They both smell so good. All right. So we got it you all into here. So. All we have to do is melt that. And then we could add in our oils and then we'll be good to go. So first we have to boil some water. So it is all melted. Now we got to add in like 10 to 15 drops of this peaches and cream. So one, that's probably good. One more just for mine. Okay, good. Let's 
look like this. That's probably good, right? Yep. Let's see, got a little funnel here. All right, y'all, so we made eight of them. Look how good they look. They look so awesome. They're already hardened. They smell amazing. That's just so awesome. Oops. So now we're going to start melting the other ones. So that made eight. So wow, it's going to be 16 little things of chapstick. That's crazy. All right, so I'm going to start, I'm going to shred like a tablespoon of this. I mean, it's only a tablespoon of like eight, you know? So the second batch is like melting like super quickly because the water is like already boiling. It's already melting. The wax takes the longest to melt. So, because it's like, I don't know why it takes the longest, but the oils melt the quickest. Good, maybe I'll start eating. All right, y'all, so they turned out amazing. The only thing, the couple things that I would have done different for next time is to not stick the funnel all the way down because then it kind of left like a little gap and then kind of left like a, you know, a hole <laughs> in it. So that's the next thing. And the next time I'll do more oils because it wasn't as strong. Because a lady that I was watching, she did peppermint. And of course, you only need like 10, 15 drops. But I think I would do like 20 drops maybe for one of them, depending of kind of like what oil you use, like depending how strong it is. These were like more of like this sweet, like it wasn't like strong, you know? So that's for next time. But yeah, y'all, they turned out amazing. I love the stickers. I love like the stickers you put on them. This is like lip balm, 100% all natural. Like it's super cute. Y'all, it is like 9.15 at night and we're just about to go to bed and we're supposed to get like a rainstorm and y'all have to see this lightning. It is amazing. You'll have to see it. It's like God's light show. It is amazing. So mom and dad are already outside. I'm going to go outside and show y'all. It is so cool. y'all it's the next day and y'all guess where we are we are in the yeah. rv and we're getting ready for the good land fest so we've been scrubbing like everything down already cleaned up by the dash up there and then you know we we're just i cleaned back over here by the couch and then i'm gonna start vacuuming i don't know if they plugged in the rv so that i can have I was not power to vacuum but what are you doing mark Oh no, I was just looking for stuff. Stuff, okay. <laughs> so yeah, we were just cleaning up, up everything. And yeah, we were going to start packing here very soon. But you know, first comes cleaning. So I'm going to go ask Dad to see if we have power so that we can vacuum. Because I think that's like the last thing we have to do is just vacuum and wipe down the table area. So it's super exciting. Is the RV plugged in so that I can vacuum? Not until I'm done with the tires. Okay. <clears throat> I know this would be like way out of the blue. We just got done cleaning the RV. Then I went inside. I went on mom's phone. I just looked at Craigslist, you know, for Highland cows because we've been, I've been wanting Highland cows for a while. So then I was just looking and y'all, I saw some cows that were for sale that was only posted like a day or two ago. And so mom contacted him and he answered back in like a minute, like no kidding. And we asked like, everything is everything we're looking for it's a mama and a baby bull and he has like other bulls too and we were looking and we're like oh my soul that's like exactly what we were looking for the price is right and then so we said when's a good time for us to come look at him and he said oh, he's like anytime you know and then we're like how about today oh my soul y'all we're going to go look at highland cows today so we got to move we're gonna put the Highlanders in the left pasture over here. And as y'all know, Posey and Nelly are over there. So, and the Texas boys are gonna be taking Nelly back to their ranch here very soon today. And we're gonna move Posey right now into the other pasture where the horses are over here. And yeah, y'all, so the Highlanders can go there. I'm so excited. I cannot believe like I found them because we were like waiting and waiting. And then, y'all, and they just popped up like, oh my soul, y'all, that's so exciting. So, Mark is getting 
cozy and I got some feed to bribe her into the field. So, yeah, yeah, it's so exciting. So we got Posey into the field and she went in there really nicely just with some feed and a rope around her neck. She went in there really nicely. And y'all, after we eat some lunch, we're gonna go look at those cows and they're a couple hours away. So yeah, y'all, I'm so excited. I can still cannot believe it. Hey y'all, you y'all will not believe it, but we're getting Highland cattle. Right now, Mike and Dad are hooking up the trailer and it's gonna be two hours, it's gonna be pretty long, but I've got some snacks, so it'll be good. Alright y'all, so we just pulled up and y'all they're so cute. I'll see if I'll be able to film. Hey y'all, it's the next day and we have Highlanders on our Joyful Life homestead right now. Okay, so the whole story is we were only going to get a mom and a baby and a bull. And then this guy, he had two bulls and the baby bull and the mama. And then, you know, he said in his like country accent, like, I would hate to see him this one by himself, so I'll give you a package deal. So we're like, you know what? We couldn't leave the one by himself because he just had the like, Angus cows and Brahma cows. And we're like, oh my goodness, you know, we can't just leave the one. They're all so cute. You know what's the worst that could have happen? You know, having to sell maybe one of them as they get older and more, you know, like protective and fighting a lot. But they're fine for right now y'all and I'm giving them some grain right now I'm walking down there right now to go see them this morning y'all I want to, I walk down there and oh yes y'all and I named them too so the mama is Chloe the white bull is um, Clyde and then the other bigger bull his name is Harris and the baby y'all his name is Scotty <laughs> because they're like Scotland Highland it's a little Scotty he's so cute y'all I am still haven't been able to like you know touch him really that much yet but was able to touch Harris and the mama but I wasn't able to get that close but they were eating out of my hands but I haven't like rubbed all over them yet and I really want to get to that point and they will get to that point y'all they are so sweet and for the first time y'all they did really good so I got some grain and I'm headed over there right now so we put them in this pasture right here on this pasture Daisy and Lovable are on this pasture and then we had him with Posey inside the barn because she got out the fence. She walked in, she got in here. She drank all of Daisy's milk. And Lovable was going crazy. He wanted a breeder and it was just like a mess. So that that's what we did this morning. But we got the Highlanders all set up over here. We got their bale of hay way over there. Way over there. Over there. <laughs> and y'all, they're right over there in the shade right now. I'm glad that at least have this one shade tree because as you know Highlanders are really furry they're more meant for like the colder climates but the guy that we bought them from he said you know where they're born and raised in they're gonna be used to, to the climate he said he sold one of his Highlanders to someone in um, sorry in Tennessee and it did not do good well there like the Highlanders are really good for where they're born and raised and for them to stay there so it's been so cool having the Highlanders y'all it's just amazing because you know as y'all know I've been praying about it and just praying and just you know it's just like oh, it would be so cool to have Highlanders and we've been looking and then there was like none for sale y'all there is none and so then I saw these and I'm like wow that's just amazing y'all so Oops, sorry, my tripod bed. Tripod, not my tripod, but okay. There we go, y'all. So I'm gonna get over the fence here. 
and there's still the friendliest one is Harris so far he's the friendliest one out of all of them the mama came to me but <laughs> but the other one um, what's his name Clyde he didn't come to me eat he didn't eat out of my hands yet the baby did except for him so I'm gonna see him I know y'all are dying to see him and I'm like dying to snuggle with them because they look so cozy right now. <laughs> I'm so excited. Hey baby. Here, I'm going to turn the camera here soon. Here, I'm going to set this down and try to set y'all up. If they're still getting used to me, they're right over there in the shade. They're all right there. They're all snuggling. I'm going to set y'all down here. You get this granite set y'all down somewhere because they're still getting used to me. And then the second thing they'll get used to is y'all. So. Just gonna set y'all down over here and we'll see how they do. Yeah, I'm gonna come a little closer to y'all here. So this one is Harris right here. I hope y'all could see. The camera feels so like like four yards away. Hope y'all y'all can hear me right now. But this is my favorite guy. <laughs> he's the he's the sweetest one. And y'all, we almost didn't get him. We were gonna get the white bull, but then we saw him, and then we're like, oh, we can't just leave him. So we had to get you too. And I'm so glad we did, because he's just so sweet and so friendly. Y'all, do you see how cute this they are? Look at them. Look how sweet. This one's Harris. This is Chloe. And then Scotty is right there, and then the other Clyde is right there. But look how sweet. He's the sweetest one. She's still coming around a little bit, but here. You want some grain? You want some grain? Here, Mama. You can have some too. Yep. So she's, I think, like four years old. And these other guys are Clyde and uh, Harris are yearlings. So they're about a year old. So they're about a, a reading age. Hey, you don't get the full thing. <gasps> Y'all, this is Scotty. That's Scotty, he's so cute. I almost named him Curly, but he might not be that curly when he gets older. So, hey, be nice, Chloe. You gotta be nice, girl. I know, that's good stuff. Look at her beautiful horns. <laughs> Here, hey, Chloe. Chloe, that's enough right now. Look how cute. I wanna get my hands on that baby so bad. But it's the first day. So we're still looking. They're following me for feed right now. They're so cute.